Hi, is this 2004 calling? Yeah, I think it is. Okay, you know, you're wondering why I'm saying that. I'm saying that because this phone does look like it's a decade old. But I'm Kent German, and I'm here to give you a first look at the Samsung Gravity Q. Now, I know, this isn't a criticism, trust me, when I say that this phone does look like from another time, because I recognize that there are a lot of people that probably want a phone like this. Well, maybe not a lot, but a few people that probably want this. They want something that doesn't require a data plan, which is this kind of phone. They want something with a physical keyboard, and they want something that's just not literally complicated with a lot of features they're not going to use. This phone definitely fits the bill for all of that. It is only 153 uh, with, the, of course, with T-Mobile service, that means you don't need a contract. You can just put a few dollars down. You can pay it off in monthly installments, or you can pay it off all at once. But that's a pretty reasonable price for a phone that doesn't chain you to T-Mobile for two years. It is pretty small, so of course you want to remember that. Uh, it does have a small screen. It's not very bright. It's not very colorful. It doesn't have a lot of graphics. It does have five home screens, so you can cycle between them. You can actually place widgets on the home screen, so you can get to things like your email, any of the features that you use pretty often. So, that's something we wouldn't have seen a long time ago, but it is nice. Uh, the screen is pretty responsive to your touch. There seems to be a little bit of a lag, but not too bad, so I wouldn't worry about it. There are two dedicated touch controls down below that are in the hardware of the phone, as well as a dedicated back button that is a physical control. So nice mixture of controls, uh, shakes it up pretty well. Here on the side, there's a volume rocker. You have a micro SD slot over here. Nice to see a micro SD or expandable memory slot on the phone of this stature, especially something so small and not very powerful. Over in this size, you have a dedicated camera control and a power control as well. On the back, there's your lens for the two megapixel camera. So two megapixel, that's the, uh, something else from another age. Doesn't have a flash, doesn't have any really complicated camera technology, but uh, you know, it is a camera for those times that you need it. Slide up the phone, turn it on side, slide it up. You'll see that the screen automatically rotates. There's no accelerometer, so the screen isn't going to rotate if you tip it like this. It will rotate, though, when you open the phone. Down below, there is a four-row keypad. So it's pretty spacious, actually, and what I like, uh, one thing I look for all the time, is that there's plenty of space between the bottom of the phone or the bottom of the slider and the first row of keys. You're not constantly bumping your finger up against that. So definitely have that. Numbers do share space with letters as well as symbols, so you're going to have to uh, you know, hit like a shift button or a function button to get to some of the other special characters. That's not really unusual, though. We see that on a lot of phones, especially with physical keyboards. A uh, nice wide space bar in the middle, uh, which is nice. Sometimes space bars, they put them on either side. They put them over in the end. So it's nice to see it in the middle. It's something that you're used to. You use the keyboards, of course. Inside, pretty standard features. Two megapixel cameras, as I said, some email, texting. But really, this is a phone for making calls, sending texts, not really a lot else. Having a lot of Samsung Gravities in this line, this is just the latest. Most of them have been pretty basic like this. I wouldn't recommend this phone for anyone that wants a lot out of it. So this is really a basic phone for making calls, keeping in touch, and it's going to be really easy on your wallet as well. I'm Ken Sherman here with a first look at the Samsung Gravity Cube.